Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is lecture number four on nanomaterials and application. Today, I want to discuss about the optical properties. Uh, in that case, we will be discuss that is Coulomb uh, interaction of nanostructure, then concept of dielectric constant for nanostructure and charging of nanostructure, then quasi particle and exciton, then exciton in direct and indirect band gaps and conductor nanocrystal, then quasi treatment not quasi particle and excitons, charging effect. The radiative, uh, radiative process that is general formalization, then absorption, emission, and luminance, then optical property of heterostructure and nanostructure. You can see there is the syllabus that part one, two, and three we already discussed in previous lectures. Today, we want to cover up uh, of the uh, optical properties, and upcoming session will be covered electron transport and the uh, application. So, let's start. Uh, Coulomb interaction in nanostructure is that that is the the nanostructure the electron hole are confined within the, some region so there is a um, modification in the force and the potential um, in, in the coulomb interaction right and the degree of freedom you can say that is the d minus i where i is the degree of freedom in free condition and you can see that is the uh, um, structure that is the size of the material is uh, reduced then the color also so there is a absorption uh, reflection uh, spectra of the nanoparticle changes with the size of this particle and uh, for that the dielectric property of this material also change you can see this is the potential and potential is in the form of like that in case of the uh, air in the molecule this is the expression but here is the additional expression due to this uh, change in of this material nanostructure material. now important thing is quasi particle and exciton quasi particle means the particle whose property near to the particle not exact the particle so near to the particle that's why this is called quasi particle example exciton polar exciton means when a elect light emitted on a material they are generate electronal pair and generally they are separate out but in some cases they are pairing they are a coulomb attraction pairing and from go with a uh, same velocity with a together they arrange in together form this is called exciton and they are stable in the form and there are two type of exciton when are more and frankel when are more exciton is like that there is region actually is the cause and there is small portion that is positive and negative portion that is this is the cloud so this is the basic basic difference of that you can write it down this exciting in direct and by indirect band gap you know when the this is conduction band this is valence band lower value of conduction band and upper value of valence band in the same k value this is called direct band and the transition occur only through the photon emission or absorption but in case of indirect band gap that is the lower value of uh, conduction band and the higher value of valence band are not in the same k value they are different k value so at first here release the phone on for uh, uh, for change the k value with the same k value and then the photon that is uh, that is that is that is uh, uh, transition so the in direct band gap only photon are uh, emitted or uh, trans uh, emitted or absorbed but in case of uh, indirect band gap material there is phonon as well as photon phonon is the lattice vibration quant of lattice vibration uh, then the absorption emission and lumination absorption is the when the light is uh, incident on a material and this uh, band gap matches with the band gap of this material then this uh, light is absorbed and transition from valence band to conduction band. this is the absorption spectrum you can see the spectrum will be like that the light is absorbed here in case of emission spectra, the uh, when the electrons come from higher energy state to lower energy state, some radiation emitted is known as the emission, and the spectra will be like that. Uh, there is some point, this uh, uh, height will be much like that. Uh, luminance uh, luminance is that when a uh, 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 substance emitted light absorbing various energy without generating it without generating heating it's radiated okay this is the luminance there are various types of photoluminance when the the luminance is caused by photon radio luminance in radio wave is the cause 
of that. So luminance is like that, which it uh, relays the energy without heating, and this is long term. Optical property of hetero uh, structure and uh, homostructure, uh, nanostructure, heterostructure means that uh, suppose this is a PN junction and the band gap of this uh, material is different and all the way around. So this is a homo. But hetero means the difference in the band gap. So if, if the band gap is non uniform throughout the material, then then heterostructure and there is the optical property. There is two band gaps. So the absorption and radiation will be compared to the and the next things is the for nanostructure material there is the you can see if you reduce the size the absorption spectra wavelength is reduced that means energy will be higher that is the band gap this increases okay so this is the portion and this is the question you must solve this question and the solution of this question are in the different playlist you can go through the description box this is a lover on me. This is my contact detail. This is my YouTube channel. So thank you. We'll meet on the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.